All right. Hello, friends. I'm going to do a series of little videos here. This is the first one. Um, this one is for Scry. So, but it may have other helpful things for other people too. I have added in when you select a person, um, there is this new bar. My usual, my players have been with for a while will remember this. This bar essentially has everything you want at a glance. So if you want to just roll your attack from here, um, you can do so. If you want to roll a strength ability score here, uh, yes, um, strength, uh, an acrobatic skill, you can just come right here and click it and away you go. Uh, you don't have to go into your sheet and roll it from here if you don't want to. So you'll see this little bar up here. You should be able to drag it and move it around. If you can't, it's because you've got this lock here and you can unlock it and that allows you to move it around. Um, that's the first part. Second part is specifically for Scry. I have added into your character sheet, um, I've adjusted the Crimson Right. So now when you use your Crimson Right, ignore that, you will consume an available usage and you'll click use ability and it will roll the damage of you cutting yourself essentially, or however you damage yourself. Um, and it will automatically damage you. So you can see you lost three hit points there. Then it will ask you, what are you applying your damage to? Currently you have your dagger and rapier equipped. That's these guys here. They're equipped. So it asks you, what do you want to apply this magical damage to? So let's say your rapier. And you have two options, right of the storm, the electrical, and right of the dawn, which is radiant. You were correct that you picked right of the storm and you don't get the flame one and you don't get the ice one. But because you are a ghost hunter, you also get the right of the dawn. So you can pick between the two. So if we pick right of the dawn, it adds in this little effect. You can see it in the corner of your screen here. Um, we can also see that under the effects tab here, crimson right rapier and it's gonna last for a certain amount of time. Now, when you attack something, I'm gonna hit T to target Brom. Sorry, Brom. And you roll your rapier attack. Natural one, not so great. So it missed and there was an animation. Of course, the dice covered it. But the other thing you'll see is when it rolled, rolled your attack, you got a one, plus your six was a seven, which missed Brom. Damage it rolled was a D8, that's your rapier damage, plus four for dexterity, two for your dueling, and it added a 1D4 radiant damage automatically, which is awesome. As much automation, that's great. So let's try an attack again. This time I'm not gonna roll it from your character sheet. I'm going to click you, and I've got this list here, inventory, I'm just gonna click rapier. Oh my goodness. Well, at least I'm getting out all the natural ones for you. <laughs> Another miss. Let's try it again. Natural 20. This is at me, because I'm the GM uh, and Brom isn't currently on, it's asking me if I want to use Brom's reaction to block it. Uh, he's got 20 seconds to pick. I'm going to say no. You'll see your rapier attacks. Big damage hit. Because it was a critical, you deal 2d8 which is rapier damage, plus four for dexterity, plus two for dueling, and two d4 automatically rolled of radiant damage as well. Big damage hit of 16, and Brom is looking pretty bad there. So I hope this helps. Uh, quick little videos like this. Hopefully these are helpful to look over.